Hi, it's Jolene from Yummy Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you how to make these zoodles. Look at them, they're so good, so easy to make. It takes no time at all, and you have them all ready to go. So keep watching, the recipe's coming up now. Before we get to the video recipe, I'll just let you know that down below, have a little look at all the links down there. I've got the link to the recipe and a whole lot of variations, as well as lots of other stuff for you to check out. So make sure you check out the links down below. And if you're not already subscribed to Yummy Inspirations, hit the subscribe button. I share three new videos every week, low carb friendly recipes, meal ideas, grocery hauls, what I eat in a day, loads of fun, yummy stuff. So subscribe so that you are part of this yummy inspirations community. Um, so let's just get straight into the recipe. To start with, we're going to make our zoodles and I've made my zoodles using my, oh, little spiralizer little slicer spiralizer i like using this little tiny one i'll leave a link down below so you can make it too you just stick the zucchini in one side and you twist around and make some zoodles um and i've got a whole bowl full here that's from medium sized zucchini and now we're just gonna put it all together it's gonna literally take two minutes hence why i call these two minute zoodles because they take no time at all to cook and all you need is zucchini the rest of the ingredients i've always got in my fridge you may a fridge pantry you may have them as well um so let's just keep on cooking right get a large frying pan turn the heat onto high and then we're going to add one two tablespoons of beautiful cream and one two tablespoons of mascarpone they're really heaped i'm kind of finishing out this container but two tablespoons of mascarpone you could definitely use cream cheese instead and now we're just going to heat this through it just takes a minute or two for, i know i said two minute zoodles but it takes no time at all we're just going to loosen this up um let the mascarpone melt mm. and then as soon as it's melted we're just going to throw in the rest of our ingredients there we go <laughs> it's melted and already bubbling we'll add in our zucchini and i'll just give that a little stir through and i usually leave opening up the tuna until the last second because the cat comes look at that already creamy noodles you could have it just like that forget about the tuna you could have it just like that but i am going to add in tuna because this has just been my go-to meal the last few days go-to lunch oh my goodness i love it so much it's creamy and tuna Okay, so I'm just going to open up the tin of tuna and we're going to add that in now. Look at that. It's already all bubbling away. I'm just adding a tin of tuna. It's upside down. I've already opened it. Um, yellow fin, tuna chunks, pollen line cord. I always try and find pollen line, even though it's coals. It's pollen line cord. And we're just going to add in the whole tin of tuna. I've just got a fork here just to kind of flake it as I go. Um, so I'll get this whole tin emptied out and then... All I'm going to add is some parmesan, heat it through, and it is done. How easy is that? Literally two minutes from putting that zucchini noodles in. They're pretty much cooked. We just need to kind of heat the um, tuna through. And in a sec, I'm going to add in the parmesan. Oh, I can smell already. There's just something. This, I mean, I can't believe this has got like very low carbs. The carbs pretty much comes from the zucchini, and you can do as much or as little as you like. Um, I do this sometimes I'll, depending how hungry I am. I'll eat all this by myself or I'll share it with my husband if I am in a generous mood. Um, so I'm just going to give that another mix and then add in our parmesan. Mm, look at that. I can't even begin to tell you how amazing this smells. Um, now you could have it just like that or you know I adore my parmesan. Add on a couple of tablespoons of parmesan this is just grated parmesan um you could add more you could add less you could add your favorite cheese i'm just going for parmesan tuna creamy goodness mm, so good okay and it's pretty much done i'm just going to give it a mix through i like the cheese to like melt in and get a little bit melty so i'm going right back that um just mix it through a bit Mm, get the cheese go melty you could leave it still for a little bit and you might even get a little bit of that cheese that you put through there getting a little bit melty and bubbly and maybe even smidge crispy mm, so good i can't wait for lunch okay i'll just cook it for another minute and then bowl it up and it's done 
There you go. Look, it's done. Look at these noodles. <gasps> these, oh, trying to grab them. They really look like noodles, don't they? Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> this is just such an easy go-to meal. Literally takes a couple of minutes to put together and you could use cream cheese instead of mascarpone. There's a whole lot of different variations. You can top it with a bit of salt. You can top it with a bit of parmesan, any other cheese. I'm going to leave blog post down below with a full recipe and a couple of variations and just go and make this creamy tuna two minute zoodles. Um, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a like. Yay! Big thumbs up. Oh, hello. Where's my finger? There you go. Big thumbs up. And subscribe. I share three new videos every week. Uh, at the moment, I'm following the keto diet and I probably will be for time to come. So I'm going to be sharing loads of keto friendly recipes, low carb recipes, meals, uh, what I eat in a day, uh, grocery grocery hauls, lots and lots of things, so I really appreciate if you subscribe, sign up, join our Yummy Inspirations community, love to have you with us, and over to you, have you made zoodles, this kind of a dish before, what um, do you like doing with zoodles, inspire us, I look forward to reading them, see you again soon, bye.